They are the world's first truly global workers. Across the oceans far from home are 1.2 million seafarers working on 53,000 ships. They are the anchor of international commerce and prosperity. 30 years ago, with the support and funding of the trade unions, the International Transport Workers' Federation founded the ITF Seafarers' Trust. In all, it has donated almost $200 million to 2,750 projects for seafarers around the world. This is our chance to talk to our family, that's why we like the center. For the help of the internet, uh, I always feel at home. Thanks God just that there is a, some a Stella Maris um, who can provide us just a simple but yeah. so mm -hmm. elegant for us to provide some call. How long are you here in Barcelona? This time we'll sail uh, in around an hour. Wow, and what time did you arrive? Like this night only, early morning, one o'clock. So you've only had 12 hour turnaround? Yes, that's correct, only 12 hours. Yeah. For the seafarers, ITF and Stella Mari Center is something that goes together. It's not only the economical help from uh, ITF. For me, it's also the human support. The relationship with the people of ITF is excellent. Trust is wonderful. Having a network of people available for us in centers, in ports all over the world. It's just wonderful. Adiasa, adiasa. Yeah, I think this is one of the best seamen centers I have ever seen. Although I am first time in Odisha, I think it's a we have a very good space and people are treating very well. I think it's a very good place. People can hang out here, relax actually. I would make a um, symbol of any Cifera Center a big ear. So ear, when you can come and talk. A wonderful place with the wonderful people. You made us smile at least for a while. That's our, that's our main goal. Emerging maritime superpower India has much to celebrate. But the country's 120,000 seafarers still face some of the toughest conditions in the world. Over 800 kilometers northwest of Mumbai, in Gujarat's Ran of Kutch, lies Kandla, by volume India's largest port. For many, Kandla typifies the frontline work of the ITF Seafarers Trust. These must be some of the toughest port conditions in the world over here. Would you agree with that? The seafarers who come to this port, 70% of the seafarers are from either China, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, or Bangladesh. And these people are not allowed to go out of the port due to, for reasons of security reasons. They don't get a shore pass. Ship visiting is done on, on daily basis. We have two ship visitors with two uh, WiMAX equipments. They go on board, and once they go on board, 
they set up the equipment over there and make the entire ship Wi-Fi. It is important for you to yes, have yes. internet on board? Very, very important because when uh, we have internet facility here, nobody sleep night time. <laughs> yeah. We need to have a Wi-Fi, making the whole port Wi-Fi with the help of ITF uh, uh, Seafarers Trust. Yes. All crew this ship, like Kandala port, only, only reason is internet. Wow. Only internet. <laughs> reason is internet. Today, as we enter our fourth decade, it's time to shine our light across and beyond the oceans and celebrate our first 30 years of working for the welfare of the world's seafarers. And to show that the ITF Seafarers Trust matters. Music